This is a physics doodle about Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Michael Faraday discovered that if the magnetic flux through a coil of wire changes with time, then a current will be induced in the coil. To be specific, Faraday's law says that the EMF induced in the coil is equal to minus n times delta phi b over delta t, where n is the number of coils in the loop and delta phi b is the amount the magnetic flux changes in time delta t. In this doodle, we are going to examine how magnetic flux can change with time. The minus sign refers to the fact that the induced current is always in a direction to counter the change in flux. First, let's remind ourselves what magnetic flux is. Magnetic flux is a product of the magnetic field strength, B, the area A over which we're measuring the flux, and the cosine of the angle phi between the magnetic field and the normal to the area. If the magnetic field is normal to the area, then phi equals zero, and you get the maximum flux possible. If the field is parallel to the area, so that no field lines cross through it, then phi equals 90 degrees, and the flux will equal zero. So now, we'll take a look at the ways you can change the flux. The first, most obvious way is to change the magnitude of the magnetic field. One example of this would be when you move a bar magnet closer or farther away from the coil of wire. You could also hold the magnet still and move the coil. In both cases, a current would be induced in the coil. The next possibility would be to change the size of the coil, either increase or decrease its area. This, too, would induce a current in the coil, which would in turn create an induced magnetic field which would counter the change in flux. The third option would be to change the angle phi between the magnetic field and the normal to the area. For example, you could rotate the coil in a fixed magnetic field. This is the principle behind an electric generator, where you create a current by rotating a coil in a magnetic field. These are the basic ideas behind Faraday's law. In the next doodle, we'll look at Lenz's law, which describes how to predict which way the current will flow. The end. This doodle was created as part of the Simon Fraser University Ed Media Protege Program.